What's happening everybody? Before we roll the footage for today's video, just wanted to make a special announcement that we are doing a one fish, two fish bash seminar series this Saturday, December 2nd here at Oyster Cove Boatworks. Uh, all of the information will be in the description below, but it's $40 a person. It's a two and a half hour full on seminar series. We're gonna be talking about uh, really our whole fishery, the lower Chesapeake Bay, talking about all the spots, tactics, everything you need to know on a full calendar year basis. If you guys wanna join, then um, just check the information in the description below. Make sure you call the phone number that we have listed and uh, reserve your seat because we do have limited capacity at 40 people and we'd be stoked to see y'all out there this Saturday, December 2nd, and we'll go ahead and roll that footage. Noah. Hey. Noah. What is that? <laughs> Are you ready to catch your first fishy? Oh yeah. You guys, what's happening? Christy and I, we are down here at the beach. Got our nice little beach car here. Check yeah, we got our can stroller wagon, y'all. It has been a hot minute since I have been doing any kind of fishing and beach fishing, y'all know, is like our roots. So super stoked to be out here. And today's name of the game, babe, tell them what we're gonna be getting on. You guys, today, <laughs> it's all about fun, easy beach fishing. Right now, Noah's playing with the GoPro, actually. Check that out. And he's got my phone. It's <laughs> like, <laughs> perfect. It's hilarious. All right, y'all, so the name of the game today is just fun, easy beach fishing. We're gonna show y'all just, if you got kids um, or just anybody want to catch fish, it was actually this time, uh, seven years ago when Christy and I first met, and this was actually where we first started fishing together. So crazy. And we would just go down here with blood worms, bottom rigs, and just catch all the different fish. Spot croaker, uh, different drum, red drum, black drum, even some flounder, speckled trout. So we're just gonna go for fun, easy, multi-species beach fishing. But target species, spot and croaker actually. All right, y'all, so today we are going to be using the easiest fishing rig known to mankind. And this is a high-low rig. So this right here, this is a high-low rig or a bottom rig. And we are gonna be using, see if y'all can see this, these hooks are really small. I always say this is one of the most common mistakes people make when they're beach fishing, is they use hooks that are too big. So we're gonna be using smaller hooks and we can still catch the bigger fish. We can catch the redfish, speckled trout, flounder, all that good stuff on these little hooks, surprisingly. And we're gonna be using these uh, interesting little creatures, blood worms which are really expensive right now, by the way. So yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing is easy beach fishing with some blood worms. All right, so when we're rigging these up, we're gonna try and put them nice and like, kind of jumbled up on the hook, just like that. And literally, that's it. Beach fishing with bottom rig. All right, y'all, so this is set up today. We have the inlet right here. Uh, I don't know what the tide is doing. I think it's, I think it's going out. But we do have, so we do have like a nice moving tide and um, looks like we've got a shallow spot right here, deeper spot over there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk out just a little bit. You guys wanna be really careful when you're fishing in these inlets, by the way. All this crazy jumbled up water, currents, just gonna cast it we got some like deeper water there we go fish on all right y'all we're hooked up we got a fish egg we get off Towards us. That feels like a, yeah, that's a decent little fish. Maybe it's like a croaker. You guys, this is like just fun, fun fishing. Yep, that's a little croaker. That's a spot, good size spot. And I got my blood worm back. All right, y'all, this is actually kind of the target species right here. Just these fun, these spot right here, 
They taste so good. They make great bait. Woo! Noah. There it is, y'all. Look, Bubba. Noah. First spot of the day. It's <laughs> like, what is that thing? What is that? All right, guys, operation catching fish, carrying my child commences right now. <laughs> Reel it tight so you feel that bat. Yeah. I don't care what I'm catching, I just miss being out here on the water and no, we're about to catch your first fish. Might be small, but who cares? Oh, just, just wait till they. It. A little tap tap. Oh man, I miss this feeling. Time. He's a little tired, but he's about to be stoked that he's not sleeping when he realizes what it's. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's pulling some drag. Pulling drag. A lot of digging. Here we go. Get him on up here. That's bait. Here we go. There we go. Got ourselves a little pinfish on here. Look it up. Look at it. No, check it out. <laughs> All right, y'all. So. Just got out the fish bites, and so to save some money, because these blood worms get really expensive when you're using a bottom rig or a high-low rig, same thing. It's got two hooks on it, one up top, one on the bottom. But we're gonna put the blood worms on this bottom one and put the fish bites on the top. You can kind of vary it up. I like to put more of like the stinky fresh bait on the bottom, because I feel like that's kind of where a lot of these target species that we're going for are kind of like picking up like sand fleas and little crabs and you know little fish like that um and just sand fleas and little crabs stuff like that on the bottom and uh i don't know so either either one top or bottom i just have more confidence in this rig or this so i just have more confidence in the uh hook that's a little bit uh closer to the weight at the bottom but that's the combo rig fish bites Blood worms. So it's also really important to kind of read the sandbars and just the topography. You can see these waves are breaking right here. And, and it's like just a brown colored water. That means that it's like really shallow. There's a sandbar right here. And then there's like a tide line out there with some darker colored water. That's the deeper water. So what we're targeting is some of these drop offs right here. Honestly, with blood worms, though, these fish, if a fish is around, it's going to eat it. I mean, blood worms are like literally the freshest, bloodiest, smelliest, stinkiest, best bait from that standpoint. Oh, there was a good little bite. There's the Rudy flipper. Oh, oh, there we go. That's a good one. All right, we're hooked up. We got a little drag screamer here. Is Noah sleeping? <laughs> Baby Noah's napping. And let's see what we got. This fish is actually taking some drag. You guys, I don't care who you are. If you can't get down on this, this is just so fun. Look at it. Oh no, there's a little hang up right here. What is this? Heck, on it. Got it off. There we go. It's a nice little spot. This guy will definitely eat. And we got our blood worm. See how, I don't know, I just have a little bit more confidence in the hook that is closer to the weight to the bottom. You guys, these fish, they taste so good. Yeah, so just so y'all can see, See this wave's breaking right there. Sandbar, that's shallow. And you can see this tide line. There's like a rip right there. That's dangerous, so you gotta be really careful when you're like waiting out here. I almost hit that bird. And then you do wanna reel it down tight. We're only using a one ounce uh, pyramid sinker, which 
you do want to kind of reel down tight so you got tension in your line. Um, if you don't, then you're not going to be able to feel the bite and you're not even going to really be able to set the hook. Uh, you don't need to set the hook like bass fishing. You just have to keep the line tight. I come from freshwater bass fishing background and I used to set the hook like crazy. But a lot of these fish, especially when you're using these like smaller hooks, these saltwater hooks, you know, like more of the circle hooks, the kale hooks, things like that. They're intended to really, whoa, there was a good bite. That was a good bite. They're intended to really have the fish set the hook themselves. So all you want to do is just, so you just want to keep that line nice and tight. All right, there we go. Fish on. There we go. There's a fish. All right, y'all, there we go. Fun, easy beach fishing with the blood worms. See if we can get it off this hang up up here. Hang, these little spots, they fight good. Oh, is that a little trout? Yeah, it's a little weak fish. Got no to sleep and we're catching our species. Got some fishies in the cooler. That's right. Let's see if we can get this guy. No, is missing out on all the action. All right, weak fish. Not of size to keep, but fun. There he goes. All right, now that baby knows is asleep, it's time for mama to catch a fishy. Ready? All right, I'm ready. All right, okay, so here it is. Blood worms, get them at your local tackle shop. Or even gas stations. Don't yeah, they? gas stations always have blood Ever? worms, especially in the summertime if you're near the coastline. So when but Christy and I first started dating, I used to put these in my pocket. You remember that? Yeah. It was like Napoleon. They would life. literally go through the washing machine, um, the washing machine, the laundry. Oh, it was awful. It totally was a little Napo Napoleon dynamite move. All right, so here it is. This is a bottom rig, high low rig, and we're just using a one ounce pyramid sinker. Oh, yeah. Super easy. We're yeah, if you guys have first. fish bites, I've got a girlfriend who literally catches everything on fish bites. Juicy. Oh yeah. All right. I want to see if I can mount this to Noah while he is sleeping. Ooh. All right, y'all. We are on. Hopefully this will be our species we're after. I don't really care if it's a weak fish, spot, croaker, take any of the above. But mama's time to fish while Noah Cruz is snoozing away. And to my right, there is such a nice set coming in. Look at that, babe. Oh, yeah. Ah! Wow, Jake, these are... No, oh, there's a tank up. No, I got it, I got it. You, all right, what oh, do you guys? two. Double. There you go. Ah! That's a good size right. spot. Oh man, we oh. lost him. <laughs> nice. Yep, got a nice spot, y'all. Had double, I flung the other one off on accident. There we go. You. All right, guys, nice spot right there. <laughs> What is that? What is that? What is that? Right. What do you think, Noah? Do you like this? Do you like fishing? It's so easy, you guys. We're just easiest way of fishing. Right here, just on the beach. Virginia Beach. Boom. Right at Rudy Inlet. Oh no, we just gave away our fishing spot. Woo. Yeah. And Noah loves hanging out in the shore break, by the way. That is how easy that it is to load up on some very, very tasty, easy to cook. All right, we're gonna get back home, cook up these spots. But you guys, there it is. That is like, that's so easy. It's really fun. Um, high load rig, bottom rig, and some, uh, Fish bites, blood worms.